Alright YouTube, Guitar Fundamentals 1. I am getting ready to go through this entire course. I'm going to review the course. This is probably the most common lesson grouping in the Guitar Tricks program and I thought it makes sense to review it because I sort of recommend Guitar Tricks all the time. This is a, a partner of the website I run uh, guitar chalk and if you want to check out a full guitar tricks review I have a video version of it which you can find on my channel uh, I also have a written version which is a little bit a little bit more I would say it's a little bit more comprehensive go to www.guitarchalk.com backslash guitar dash tricks dash review and that'll get you to the written review that has everything about this program th that that I could possibly cram into one article it's all there it gives you lots of lots of pictures lots of screenshots gives you a, a nice kind of inside look at what it is like to have a full membership but this is a, even a little bit deeper a little bit more specific i'm going to go through the guitar fundamentals one course and i'm going to review just that course here in our video uh, uh kind of screencast here so what you won't be able to do is you won't be able to hear audio I, the, part of that is because of the way I have this set up with a little microphone and the, the audio isn't going to play through the mic. But the, the other reason I do that is because this is technically paid content. I don't like to give away too much when I do these reviews that you, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to take stuff that's supposed to be behind a paywall and just give it away. I don't think the guys that make these courses would appreciate that. Um, so, so we're just going to kind of keep it to, to where I can show you what is in the course and I can give you an idea of, you know, for those that are interested in this course for their kids, or maybe they're just getting started and they want a good fundamentals course. This is kind of the one I recommend. Uh, this is the one that my son is using right now. He's six years old. Um, and I'll maybe throw a picture of him up there, uh, using this course. He, he got, he, he got a, uh, we got him a, a little Maritone acoustic guitar for Christmas, and he actually sits down and watches these uh, and has, has been going through them, and he really, really likes it. I think it's a good fit, even for that young. Um, the, the lady that teaches this, Lisa McCormick, is she's she's got a good teaching style that I think is uh, conducive to pretty much, I'm, I'm not going to say any age, but but six years old, where I probably would have had him wait another one or two years for you know, maybe a different, maybe in-person lessons or a different kind of formal lesson. This works really well for him. So I wanted to go ahead and review the course and just kind of give you a feel for what's in it. So if, as you probably already noticed, you get there through the core learning system, but I'll back up a little bit. This is the main menu. If you log in with a paid account, this is what you're going to see. You kind of have these four blocks here. And the simplest way to start is just to go to beginner lessons. Beginner Lessons is going to highlight the Guitar Fundamentals 1 and 2 courses, and then you're just going to click on Level 1. The little Start Here button makes it super easy. Uh, and then this uh, little intro video is going to, um, Lisa is, that's Lisa right there. She's going to talk this a little bit course, about the course, which is all is well and good, but I'm just going to skip ahead here, and I'm going to look at some of the basically the lesson plan and just talk about it a little bit i've been through this a few times back maybe four or five years ago now I, I did a written review on just this course when they published it uh, this is a newer course that guitar tricks has recently put out and by recently i mean within the last five years so i did a written review and that is since uh we that isn't up anymore and i forget why we took it down i don't I don't remember exactly why it was. It was fine. It was a good review, um, but but I think it's a little easier to get a feel for what's in this with um, the screencast format. So it's broken down into chapters. If you don't know how Guitar Tricks works, their courses are broken down into chapters that are titled. Um, you know stuff like and and the titles I'm not too crazy about. You have like uh, Let's Learn to Play. That's kind of cryptic, and you have to you know read a little bit to figure out what's in there. Um, same thing with some of the course titles, like, like when my son was doing this, I was, I had him skip over like, you know, how to tune the guitar and how does the guitar work? Like he kind of had a feel for that already. I, I sort of already showed him that. And 
and so I, logic told me let's start at chapter two, start him in there, uh, and I, and the look mom two hands. I, I didn't really get what that meant. <laughs> like some of it's just kind of like you don't really the title doesn't really tell you a lot about it, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, basically, what's going to happen with this course is after you get over the real kind of super simple introductory stuff like you know, how do you hold the guitar? She'll cover all that. She does a good job. Um, her, even in like the welcome to the guitar, she, she's going to talk about different models of the guitar, how to hold it. Um, just kind of go over some basic parts. That's Guitar Anatomy 101. Um, this is sort of for like if you have never in your life ever, ever, ever even touched a guitar. That That's, that's where you start. But if you can hold it, um, if you know sort of the basics of what a guitar is and you don't feel like you need to uh, worry about any of that it's okay to skip ahead to chapter two which you're going to get into kind of how your hands uh, function while playing this instrument so what does the right hand do you see that uh, and and just for to for clarity's sake when you go into this is this is one of the chapters look mom two hands you can click begin tutorial but uh, on here over here on the right under this contents section every one of these is uh, I believe let me just check to make sure I'm telling you right. Yes, I believe its own video, right? So there's a chapter, it drops it down. Each video uh, is, is, has its own title there. So backing up, uh, you can skip around. It's pretty easy to do that. But uh, within each chapter, you're going to have you know, multiple videos that are anywhere from two to 10 minutes long. Um, this one has, uh, see, they'll, they'll tell you down here, nine videos, um, no scores or tablature. You don't really need that yet. So she goes through this material and uh, gets, uh, kind of gets you warmed up, gets some um, movement mechanics covered, uh, just, just, as, as I was saying, a really good job of kind of slowly explaining it. That's her style. Lisa's style is to kind of uh, really patiently and methodically take you through that basic material. And then once you move on, you're going you're gonna to get into some uh, simple chords, cover uh, C, G, A minor, E major. Uh, those are all um, the, the open kind of beginner's version. So we'll take a quick look at that. Uh, simple G major and then once you go in here you should start to see um, so she'll kind of demo the chord for you and then and then the, the video will show you multiple angles depending on what you're doing so in this instance she's taking you through sort of one note at a time uh, and they'll have the uh, they'll have the chord diagram up here in the top right hand corner of the video you have the instructor's face the instructor's right hand and the instructor's left or fretting hand you also have like some some speed up and slow down functions you have some ability to loop uh, and for those of you that care this is a wistia video embed so the back end is a wistia premium uh, stream uh, which is great it's a really good uh, video hosting platform so it's not just YouTube or something like that it's a the like the it's it's a good um, kind of high-end video uh, streaming service that they're using um, but if you look back let's see how much is in here yeah so nine videos two uh, pieces of sheet music so once you get into chapter two uh, she starts to cover some more um, kind of some more practical like gonna get your hands on the fretboard a little bit more and then the the one thing that I might have you know kind of switched around is um, you get into chapter three she's gonna get you reading tabs and uh, go on some single note melodies and what I would have probably done if it were me is I would have flipped those two so I would have done single note melodies first probably would have that 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 seems to me but when I've taught when I've taught lessons um, I've I've really preferred to start with that rather than chords uh, like A minor and C I mean those are complex in comparison to learning how to play single notes so I would have switched those but that's not a deal breaker that's just something to note kind of a pet peeve of mine do single notes first if you've read anything over guitar chalk when I've you know written lesson material I always kind of preach that is that you should do simple stuff first learn how to do that um, but the as as the course goes on you're going to get into uh, more chords um, then uh, you get let's see E minor D major C G and A minor 
kind of some two chord songs and she's going to get you into basically leading you into applying something with the chord you've learned uh, which I, I think is a, a great aspect to have and of course like this you want to get the student um, not just learning chords and learning patterns but she's going to get you actually doing something with them um, my son hasn't gotten to this part of it yet but I'm I'm interested to see when he does like how how well he's going to be prepared for uh, something of this magnitude as you can see you know for a beginner this is not it's not the simplest looking thing right but you know once you get into it and she explains it <coughs> Sometimes this is actually a court, uh, sometimes not video so is about five minutes court. long. So that, once once she gets into it and explains it, see it down here, it looks like what she's going to do is she's going to have you just kind of going back and forth between E minor and A minor, just getting used to that uh, kind of that that rhythmic repetition of playing chords and changing from one chord to another. She's also going to kind of get you used to that. So let's back up again. Uh, like I said, I don't want to give away all the all the goodies here I just want to get like some kind of a basic <coughs> excuse me just kind of a basic rundown of what to expect if you if you were to go through this course yourself um, chapter five you're gonna keep uh, you're gonna kind of keep moving through chord changes um, she's gonna get into a, a little bit more about major and minor chords and the differences there uh, and the the chord change mechanics that she goes through, I think, are are pretty detailed. Um, a lot of this, uh, a, a lot of this stuff, I think, is 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 really a solid teaching method. You know, going after the bass note first, and then kind of putting the rest of your fingers on beneath that note, um, getting your getting your uh, kind of consistent notes between chord progressions. So she's going to basically help you learn how to change chords while moving as little as possible, which I think is a great way to teach this. That's how I uh, write it up whenever I do written lessons. Uh, so no complaints there. And then uh, if you see you look in this recommended song section, they basically drop song lessons in here uh, that are using the chords that she's already taught. And this is just part of the uh, the song lesson section of guitar tricks which is massive so you'll see a few recommendations here which are pretty um like some pretty easy stuff like your kiss from a rose by seal that's going to be the easy like just a few chords version um but they have a ton of songs and they're all licensed it's 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 this is one of the reasons that i recommend this program is because they have so many songs they're all licensed they all the it, it's instructor led so they're actually leading you through the song teaching you each part um, and and that's a nice little uh, add-on to this course is that you have songs here that you can play given the chord she has taught you. Um, so the as as it continues, like this course really starts to narrow in on playing songs and using your chords. So particularly if you're um, trying to get a maybe a brush up on your rhythm and figuring out how to uh, how chords can be applied to songs, or if you just want to get strumming. Uh, this course does a great job of that, and um, the kind of this entire uh, chapter six, you're learning how to play in a particular key and then applying that to songs, and you're going to use some of the uh, a, a lot of the pieces that you've put together in previous chapters, and the course just kind of does a good job of building on itself. So when you get to that point, now that you're playing songs, she has you kind of, uh, she's got you the understanding the basic lingo of playing in a key and and what it means to uh, go through a chord progression uh, then you're going to get into strumming and timing which I think again is a great way to kind of put a put a uh, put the finishing touches on what she has taught up to this point uh, because this is a hard concept right like this is tough for beginners to get she saves it till the end she does a good job of it uh, kind of covering the basics you're going through 4-4 four, four time and 3-4 time and she's going to help you get basically some more interesting uh, strumming patterns or uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of variety in how you strum because I think up to this point you've just kind of been going uh, back and forth in a pretty repetitive motion you saw with those chord progressions the E minor to A minor there wasn't anything tremendously fancy there but now she's going to take you through and just kind of get uh, up close with the right hand technique and 
kind of figure out how to help you figure out how to strum with a little bit more variety. It's a, a you know pretty straightforward, <clears throat> and she's going to do that. She's going to show you how to uh, do the basic counting and understand that. And there are let's see one two three four five six seven seven videos in this course. I'm just going to click on a couple of these. Yeah, again, you can't hear the sound, but by now you you've got she's got you to where you have learned the basic chords and you're you've even played some songs and now in addition to playing songs, you're you're adding more technique and more application to those chords uh, by getting some interesting strumming patterns down. So, you know, not uh, <clears throat> guitar tricks is certainly not um, I, I think they did a good job of not trying to be, you know, too cute with this material. Like it's it's beginner material, and that's the thing about um, beginner guitar lessons is that everyone starts. And when you start, there's there's a certain amount of content and topics that you need to learn that that really do not change from style to style, right? Like every guitar player that starts needs to learn a C chord. Every everyone needs to learn how to play. Uh, single notes on two strings, uh, how to do a melody, and they all of these things in this course are fairly, um, you know, they're it's a beginner's course through and through. But the way it's structured and, and the way they've ordered topics, the way that Lisa kind of teaches and it builds on itself is really good. Uh, and it's something that I've always really liked about Guitar Tricks beginner content that you kind of lose when you go out into the world of free content is that the thought that they put into ordering this stuff and the the the, the uh, sequence in which they teach it is really remarkable. And I think they did a good job of that. I think this course is a great example of it. Uh, like I said, my son loves it. I recommend it all the time. It's a great place to start. It's a great place to kind of get your basics under your belt. Yeah, so like I said, this gu guitar tricks is um, th this is this is not just uh, a review as much as as it is kind of an overview of this course because I've been through it a handful of times. This stuff isn't um, isn't new. I'm not I'm not looking at this cold right. So there, uh, like I said, guitar tricks is a partner of ours. So if you want to support. Uh, the Guitar Talk channel. If you want to support the website, check out the free trial. There's a link to it in the description of the video, or go over and check out the review over at guitartalk.com. You can just Google Guitar Tricks Review. It'll come up. Uh, and go ahead and check out the free trial or sign up for a membership. Like I said, this is great for kids. Uh, this fundamentals course, uh, this first one especially, is, is I, I would say, like I said, my six-year-old boy, he is handling it. Like, he's doing great. So if you got kids and you're, you're wondering about starting them in that, um, I, I'd say it, they, they have a great uh, – iPad app. What I do is I just start this course and give him the iPad and he just kind of goes to town. He just clicks the next video. There's six or seven minutes. Uh, it's good for his attention span. Um, but, but beginners and adults as well, like it's just a good beginner course to get your fundamentals under your belt. Uh, so that's pretty much all I got. Like I said, check out the free trial, uh, check out the website, subscribe and hit the like button for me and I'll uh, get another review up for you guys soon. Thanks for watching.